Welcome to another Disney A through Z, A through Z, A through Z. Welcome to another Disney A through Z. I have no ending to that song. So hello, welcome back to another Disney A through Z. Today's all about the letter E. And today we're talking about an extreme goofy movie. This movie is a sequel to a goofy movie. A goofy movie is a story about Goofy and his son Max. They end up going on a road trip together and a whole bunch of stuff happens. I love a goofy movie. One of my favorites. Has two amazing songs by Powerline. If you haven't heard Powerline, go look it up right now. I'll even have a link to Powerline in the description. First time ever we're seeing it out to eye. Now in an extreme goofy movie, the sequel, Max goes to college. And then Goofy also kind of ends up at college too. And Max is very embarrassed by this. He does not like his dad at college with him. He finds it extremely embarrassing. Now, a lot of people like Extremely Goofy movie more than a Goofy movie, but personally, I like a Goofy movie a lot more. I just, I, I don't know, I like the first one more, so. I haven't seen an Extremely Goofy movie in probably three years, but I'm gonna go watch it today after this video. An Extremely Goofy Movie is directed by Douglas McCarthy. This movie was a direct-to-video movie, which is okay, there's a lot of direct-to-video Disney movies like Cinderella 2 and 3, um, Lion King 1 and a half, Lilo and Stitch, Stitch Got a Glitch, The Unmentionable, Tarzan and Jane, Oh, Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea. There's a lot of direct-to-Disney videos, they're really good and they're always fun to watch. Now the plot for an Extremely Goofy Movie takes place Four years after a Goofy movie, Max is now 18 years old and he's on his way to college. Goofy and Pete prepare to say goodbye to their children as they go off to college. Max still thinks that his dad is very overprotective, while PJ's dad is really sad because he knows his dad's just going to make his room into a bowling alley once he leaves for college. They have very extremely different parenting skills, Goofy and Pete. Now Max's friend PJ and Bobby want to join the X Games. They try to find their way into the X Games. They have not really accepted at first. And of course, Goofy creates some kind of problems with this. There's a, yeah, a bunch of stuff going on. Goofy at one point in the movie realizes that kids grow up really fast and he reminds Pete about that. And he doesn't want that to happen. So Goofy wants to get a new type of job because he doesn't want to stay there doing like a factory type of job or anything. So he goes to see if there's any applications available for a new job. When she learns he needs to go to college to get a higher degree to get a better job. So he ends up at college with Max. And the plot starts. At college, Goofy meets a beautiful librarian named Sylvia Marple. Yeah, that should be right. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they share moments of the 70s together, which is the time they were younger. And so they like have 70s moments. So without spoiling the rest of the movie for you, because I want you to go watch it. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit of trivia of the movie now. When the movie is shown on Disney Channel or Disney XD, a part where Goofy and Max are saving the tanks from the flaming X symbol was cut due to September 11th attack. Another edit is the removal of the ESPN logo from the film. Despite the fact that the movie was aired and produced by Disney, who owns ESPN. No idea why they do that. Although it still appears in the credits. As of 2011, the ESPN logo has been retained from the movie's broadcast. However, the DVD does not contain these edits, due to being released a year before 9-11 happened. And the DVD was never recalled to make these edits. But in the US Netflix version, the flaming X scene has been cut out. Unlike the first movie, an extremely goofy movie is not a musical like the first one. Which is so sad because I love all the songs in the goofy movie. This film also has similarities to the 1986 comedy Back to School, starring Rodney Dangerfield. Dangerfield. Both features have a father attending college, a son competing with a rival in a sport, the father falling in love and eventually dating a college faculty member, the son deciding to leave college due to the father's popularity, the father having an argument with both his son and his girlfriend, and both arguments get patched up in the end. Ooh, similarities. There are also differences in the film, such as like Goofy never attending senior year, Goofy going to college to get a degree, Goofy falls in love with a librarian, 
and the Goofy movie was released on a leap year, 2002. Now an extremely goofy movie won an award, Best Animated Home Video Production, and was nominated for Best Voice Acting Male Performer at the 28th Annie Awards in 2000. Currently, Rotten Tomatoes rates it at 57%. Well, there you have it. All the information I could possibly give you about the Goofy movie in short time as possible. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more Disney videos like this. There are more videos to come. And until next time, please have a magical day. Bye-bye. The second main character. And Nick Wilde, the fox in the movie, the second main character, was going to be the star of the whole film. I don't know how the story would have gone in that direction, but I would have been interested to see it.